Hi fellow trainers, I'm Taylor. And I'm Kevin. And we are the Pokemon Brothers. As you guys may have heard, the Double XB Double Stardust event for Pokemon Go has dropped. We are from Illinois, so it's about... What time is it, Kevin? 7.46. 7.46. So, for other people, maybe different times. Um, Kevin, what are we actually here for? Portable Charger. Portable Charger? Yeah, he lost his. Oh well. And we're in yours truly, Walmart. Oh boy, I don't like this place. Should at least get one that has Two double charges. battery life yeah um guys you need to get a portable battery i don't know the game's been out for like four months now if you don't have one by now you're crazy with having the sound on and then the brightness up it just burns through your battery big time kevin again lost his so we're here getting a new one you found a battery it's like nine bucks Four thousand, I think. I bought one too a little while back. But anyway, getting back to Pokemon Go in the double XP event, Stardust, you get two hundred XP from all catches. You get a nice catch, you get a bonus, it's twenty instead of ten. Greats, a hundred instead of fifty, and excellent is an extra hundred, so two hundred instead of one hundred. If you use a lucky egg, you do get four times the XP added on. So buy those lucky eggs and go to town. Oh, and especially, throw those curveballs. Two hundred extra stardust. Let's see if he's any good. Decent. Go figure. Bye bye. And two hundred XP. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Wow. We got plenty of them during the Halloween event. Right. Oh, my brightness down a little bit. Oh goodness. Kevin's not the uh, professional curveballer by any means. Nope. <laughs> Meowth Shit. did get a CP nerf. Um, another big change, even though the double XP and double Stardust came out today, Niantic has changed the CP balances, and we're going to go into that here shortly. So Niantic just recently buffed up a bunch of Pokemon. Rhydon Max is at 3300. Pinsir Max is at like 27.78. Pidgeot went down. It was nerfed. Ditto was nerfed. I, that's strange. It said that Ditto's actually out and about. You can catch him. But people aren't seeing the bigger picture, and this is exactly what I'm going to talk about. Why would Niantic nerf and buff all these Pokemon? And no one seems to be talking about it. You hear a lot of speculation that the legendaries are going to be coming out soon. And I actually think this is absolutely correct this time. I was talking to Kevin and how, why would they do all the CP changing? Well, it's clear. With Mewtwo being over 4,000 and the legendary birds being in the low 3,000s to mid 3,000s, what we are seeing is nothing but Dragonite, Exeggutors, and Lapras, Vaporeon on gyms. And it was constantly like that. Arcanine. Yep, Arcanine too, good call. Snorlax. Yep. Um, but the thing is, is once everybody gets the legendaries, it's going to be the same thing again. It's going to be nothing but Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, Mew, and Mewtwo because of their CP values and how strong they are. Well, to combat this, they've changed the CP values. So this doesn't necessarily confirm, but is definitely one step towards how close the legendaries really are. They are getting close. So the CP buff and nerf that they've done is basically furthering the gym battles. So there will be more 
variety on the gems and makes it a little bit easier to take down those legendaries which are coming soon. Links to the CP change values will be in the description below. Like and comment. Tell me what you guys think about the new values and the changes and if they really are going to be because legendaries are coming. I think they're going to be. What do you think, Kevin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? But tell us what you guys think about the CP change values. And again, link will be in the description. Just got a Magnemite hatch. Double XP in Stardust. This is insane. Diglett! Okay. <laughs> I guess that worked. Over 2,000 Stardust. Jesus. Oh, he's a dud. Under 82%. Not worth. Jeez, how many of these eggs you got? Four. This is the third one then. Ah, oh, that's okay. not bad. 1600 Stardust, he must have got the minimum. Oh, he's over 82. Okay. Last one. First one was a Magnemite. That's just oh. so insane. Growlithe. Come on. Oh, that'll work! Let's see. 22, 27. Oh. Uh, eh, he's probably about 82. Still not bad. Hatching eggs is a good way to earn double XP, but you could probably earn more XP if you just caught a bunch of Pokemon in a row. Alright guys, we're at Mineral Springs Park, waiting for Kevin to finish up eating. Although I think he's done already. Pretty much. Jesus. <laughs> Two bacon cheeseburgers, a small fry, and an Oreo. <laughs> it's already gone. Anyway, uh, we're going to take down some gems. Guys, just wanted to let you know that the double XP event is out. Get all that Stardust and XP, double XP you can. Uh, we're going to go over tomorrow how you can utilize this event to get the maximum amount of XP and Stardust possible. So, we are the Pokemon Brothers. And we will see you tomorrow. Peace.